From the general Orange River region north, northern cape of South Africa, specimen has been sworn to stand flat like this. So first of all, standing flat, let me take you around the edges here. Quite interesting. Um, I've seen some of the petroleum included quartz. Now this looks similar, but it would of course be the hematoid ferruginous hematite included quartz. Maybe even some copper inside this one, but we will have a closer look under magnification. The, the predominant color here is sort of a, 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 a opaque white going into a slight, slight uh, brownishness rather than uh, reddishness. And then, of course, these terminations are so, so very interesting. And I'm going to see if we can zoom in. Let's see if we can have a closer look. It looks like the crystallization uh, copper or, or uh, a wood portray or even girthite. Um, typically, the inclusions in these quartzes are the, the uh, specular hematite or bladed hematite formation. Color sort of a gray to a brown. This is a pretty accurate color of the actual specimen. And uh, partially see-through. You'll be able to see my fingers behind there. Also full of little, let's say, spooks or ghosts. Uh, little uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, patterning inside the crystal. Maybe mild shades of, or maybe mild clouds of kale and clay trapped in here as well. All the way from the general Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa. Hematoid ferruginous, most likely hematite included quartz.